Hello and welcome back to the workshop. On the last video I, I turned these dowel pillars and the dowel feet. On this video I'll be making the bezels to suit these chapter rings. And the chapter rings will be held on by these dowel feet. So what I'll do, I'll get some brass and we'll set up and see how that goes. These are the two pieces of brass I'll be using to make the bezels. It's just ordinary 3mm CZ121 brass. But first of all, I'm going to need to drill some holes in it, ready for the rotary table. Now that I'm set up on the miller machine, I'm going to drill and ream a 5 16 hole in the centre. Next I'm going to drill six clearance holes. Right, there's no point in me showing you drilling all the holes. What I've done, I've done the six holes and I've also drilled uh, five equally spaced holes. These five are going to remain in the bezel. So I'll explain what they're for later. So what I need to do now is take them off, clean them up, ready for the rotary table. Once I cut off the waste, I use some marking out blue and then using spring dividers I marked out roughly where the chapter ring is going to go. Like that. Is a rough guide. All I need to do now is clamp it to the auto table. Like that. And clock up this centre bong. I've been milling the pocket out here for the chapter ring. I've finished the depth. What I'm doing now is milling the diameters. I'll do some more of that now. I've just got 5 thou to mill off on the inside diameter here, so I'll do that by climb milling and then I'll move over and finish the outer diameter. That's the outside milled, now we're going to move over and build the inside. Right, that's the inside done, I'm going to finish the rest off on the lathe. Before I do that, I'm going to drill some more rolls, so I'll set up and do that now. The purpose of these five holes is so that I can take out the chapter ring should I need to for polishing etc. 
what I'm going to do now is drill three holes, one here, one here, one there, to match the dowel pillars in the clock frames. So what I'll do, I'll drill the other two walls and then I'm going to countersink them to suit the 10 ba countersink screws. Well that's the three holes drilled and countersunk to match the dial pillars. What I'll do now is machine the other bezel up to this stage and then I'll set up the lathe. Uh, the only thing I've done on here is skim the outside diameter, put some radiuses on it and a bit of polishing. What I'm going to do now is take it off and put it on the bench ready for assembly. The next job is to put on the dial feet. Now they're ready for the chapter rings. I've made these as a pressing fit for future maintenance for when I want to polish the clock. I can just pop out the chapter ring. So what I want to do now is line up the six o'clock with this bottom screw. And that's ready for the clock so I'll do the other one and then we'll reassemble them in the clock right that's the bezels complete it's starting to look like a clock now on the next video I need to make the pendulum bob and the crutch mechanism and I can install this anchor escapement so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video